so today is walkthrough day we're just waiting for them to come and i'm super excited so we'll see i had to put some sneakers on because of course i can't walk in here with um sandals but the drywall is up sturdier rigid structure a big heavy framing member but also the advantage is now you can have R19 insulation in all your walls. Okay. So if I was to insulate this room R19 and the rest R13, not a gigantic cost savings, but when you add up the entire house yeah. is R19, that's a massive cost savings over the years. Okay. All right. Yeah, the uh, the return in here, is that? Okay. okay. Yeah. That's the return. Yeah. So we're gonna have a return in every bedroom okay um you don't need them you can just do one central in the first floor and one central in the second floor mm -hmm. we like to do them in like the master you'll see here then we have one big one here and then we'll have smaller ones in each bedroom that helps the unit run a lot more efficiently yeah. um it's also better if you want to keep your doors closed all the time okay. you know you don't have to put like a transfer grill cut your door real right. short it's getting air you okay. know fresh air through yeah. it no matter what that was the problem we all we had with our home because we, we we had a few homes in philadelphia it's, it's so hot up there's, yeah. there's, there's, there's no, no return upstairs if we try to run one up it was a pain in there well a couple things we do not only the returns help um but the fact that you have two systems okay not two not not a separate zone right. two entirely different systems one is up in the attic already for the um second floor and then the one in the basement will be for the first floor okay see i didn't know we had two so yeah. yeah yeah so that is so that's right good here. to know because we were wondering if we had so this whole room if you see i built a whole gigantic room up in there just for your heater it's plywood like this so okay. you don't have to like crawl around you can get up there walk right over to your heater um, the only reason why we build this obnoxious room mm -hmm. in, in the attic is because this township requires a sprinkler in the attic by the heater okay. and and they won't allow antifreeze loop anymore. So you got water in your attic, which is never a good thing. When did uh, they stop that? This year? Uh, this year? No, the antifreeze, they probably stopped that, I'd say five maybe years okay. ago. The front's always gonna stick out a little bit. So a lot of people will measure, they're like, Jeff, I can't find a 36. Yeah, I'm in the back. So we don't need the counter down. Uh, you can get counter depth, yeah. Um, and in yeah, which case, they then they, 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 they are. are counter depth, right? Counter depth is just you don't get nearly as much volume out of it, you know. Like counter depth used to be really popular back in the day. It's not so popular anymore. Um, you don't get as much room in air. Um, and nowadays refrigerators are gorgeous. <laughs> you know, they used to be ugly. And you just hit yeah. them in the corner, and now they're beautiful. So like you know, uh, I would say. I'll bet you one out of twenty houses you see it now, but maybe you know, one out of thirty. Yeah, it's something else. And a check with
house. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Show me your room. You got all this white on you. <laughs> So what's your theme gonna be? I just told you, bougie princess suite. Bougie princess suite, okay. Cause this is a princess suite, mom. Yeah. And then we gotta figure out what you're gonna do with your bathroom. Mm, I don't know. Are you guys ready? Y'all, I'm so ready. The fact that like the house is almost done guys, I'm just like blown away. So they are going to start the trim work. And then they're gonna put the doors in. But next week they're gonna paint. So I'm not sure if they're gonna paint first and then do the trim and the doors or what. But they're done with all the sand. They're done with all the um, spackle and sanding. I think this is literally the highlight of this whole house is gonna be the stone. Um, so I just can't wait guys. I cannot wait. Like we're gonna have so much fun decorating this house y'all. So make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you are, um, notifications are on. This is my highlight in Cairo room. In room, I mean bathroom. Huh? Huh? You have a what? Yeah. Yeah. Y'all, look how big all the front. The front is humongous. And so is the back. We're gonna build a pool in the back. I can't wait. Like, just family and friends come over. Look at the back, y'all. Go all the way over and then oh, oh, you can't even see, but all the way over there. So we're gonna get the pool. We're gonna get a deck. Of course, in due time, of course, none of this stuff is gonna happen right away. And I was thinking like a nice big chandelier coming there and then a chandelier hanging here, which is gonna take some time because I kind of want it to be like big and like a statement piece so that's all the updates for today so if you guys don't know i missed like three weeks um of house update my husband and i had covid it was no joke literally we were really sick my husband had to be hospitalized and everything so i'm still not a hundred percent I'm still not 100%, but I'm getting there. I'm getting there. <laughs> so, um, that's basically what's been going on in this house. And I seen in the garage some other stuff came. But yeah, I'm super excited. I just enrolled the kids in their new school. Samaya saw her new school. How, how did you feel about that? I was very confused because it's like really big. <laughs> I just didn't know where to go. <laughs> so that was fun. She um she did her new school today and Mahila and Cairo they go for their new school. We have like like an ice cream shop that we're going to with them. But y'all, I'm so excited. This has been like a really long process. And we're almost almost there. I think the hardest part is just not being able to tell you guys what's going on. Like I'm doing all this behind the scenes because I'm a firm believer of just wait. Just wait until it's permanent because anything can happen. And that's just me. That's just my belief system. Like, I like to just wait until things are totally done and then I can, you know, tell everybody what's going on. But um, this is the living room area, guys. So I was thinking about doing like two shelves, a couch, a table two chairs and then then i'm thinking like i feel like maybe this space is just not that big for all of the furniture that i wanted to get in here i don't know and then over here is the dining room area i didn't figure that section out yet 
Um, over here is our great room area. And then moving to the breakfast area right here. And I love that we have this wall to kind of like separate the breakfast area and the great room because what I kind of want to do with this situation is I want to put one couch right there and then another couch here and then like two exit chairs and then get like a nice um, table right here and then I'm going to get the curtains that go all the way up and to come all the way down and then right here I want to put like a nice table um, of course, a table right in the entryway. So, I don't know. We're going to figure this out together. Because this is like a partnership, guys. We're going to do this together. Um, but yeah, and then this is the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Do y'all see the kitchen windows? <sighs> so, this is, this is the last time you guys are going to see the kitchen. Into the empty house tour. Because I want to surprise you guys. You know, I don't want to show everything i wanted to be a surprise with the empty house tour so but i do want to show you guys the kitchen windows so this is and i have another window on that side so this is the kitchen windows and our cabinets are coming in this week um so yeah i get my hair done tomorrow guys i can't wait but i will talk to you guys later all right, so we're in the house. It's late at night. I need your light. It's late at night. And they're like still working in here. You can't even see nothing. Okay, look, I'm gonna show you guys. Anyway, we have baseboards are in, our doors are in. I'm gonna come back Sunday so I can show you guys in the light, but it's kind of dark in here. So I'll show you guys on Sunday. What everything looks like, so dark. Who understand their language? Tell me what they saying. They probably talking about me and my husband. Like, why they here this late? <laughs> we have cabinets, guys. And I'm excited at the same time. They didn't paint yet? Oh, no. They're painting this week, then. <laughs> Come through the front. Not the garage. So here goes one room. This is what it looks like with the door. So I wanted to go ahead and do like black hinges because uh, modern, like I want everything to be like a modern feel. So the handles are so cute. I love the handles, but they didn't paint yet. My mom got like a nice walk-in closet. And they go all the way up. Ew. I'm guessing what are they going to paint? So anyway, only thing that's new is the doors 
is in in the trim the trim is in also they added this they added this um I'm trying to think I know they did say my freestanding tub is on back order which we might have to close without it which is fine it's not like a must have right now um I'm gonna check to see if they changed Mahila switched Mahila light this is our our two doors for our room. Um, oh, sorry, I almost out. Let me see if they changed my high low lights. Yep, they did. I must say, this builder, we haven't really had any issues. Um, the only issues I had with them was really like these the two lights they put them over here if you remember like prior of me recording i said they put them in the wrong place but look we made sure it's in the right place now um but i must say what you think about this builder we haven't had any issues right no issues on time yeah very um, good communication skills. Sales agent was nice. How big is that closet? So, I definitely would um, say this is definitely one of the good builders because I have heard horror stories on YouTube. I was kind of scared to even build a house because of so many things that people are going through so this is really just the update this is a little linen closet for the kids <laughs> so small but yeah baseboards is up in all of these rooms they're going to paint this week so the next time next sunday hopefully everything will be painted Maybe the cabinets will be installed. So I'll see you guys next Sunday.
like my nails. So do y'all think they paint it? Do y'all think they paint it? Let's see. They paint it, guys. Oh my gosh. They paint it. Oh, I'm so excited. The cabinets are still in the garage, so I know they didn't do the cabinets. But, and they paint it on doors. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Super excited. It is almost coming. So this week they probably do the cabinets in here, put all the doors back. Um, but yeah, it is painted in here. Me and the kids just came from a birthday party. I'm exhausted. One of our neighbors um up here that I met up here. We just had she just had a birthday party for her son, which is now like my bestie. <laughs> It's so funny because I feel like I knew her for so long. But yeah, we just came from the birthday party. And this is the basement. I never showed you guys the basement yet. No, don't put your name on. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys the basement. We're not going to finish the basement because we kind of want to do like certain things with the basement. So, somebody? Yes. Oh, you scared me because I'm like hearing feet. Um, so the basement starts, so I'm on the step. So this is the basement is really a nice size. So the basement starts here, here, and then here, and then are you ready for this? It goes all the way back. And I tell you guys, this basement is humongous. Um, so the plan is, of course. Like we're yeah. hi Cairo, I'm doing a video. I, know, I think yeah, I know it's done. I just know it's done. Okay, just wait a second, babe. Okay. Um, so I wanna make like this part a storage area. Um, so probably like from here that way storage and then we want to make like an entertainment so like when we have parties and stuff for the kids or just like family and friends over we have like a whole entertainment so we're going to do like a nice bar this probably be like a nice bar setup chairs a pool table and then back here we're going to do our um theater room so oh and then we're going to do an exercise room as well so basically the basement is going to be entertainment theater room and exercise. This is what's basically gonna be in the basement. <laughs> of course, this is gonna take time to do as well. Oh, excuse me, y'all, I didn't mean to. Um, oh, I think they're gonna stain these steps, but, And I think they're gonna be doing the stone scene. Hold on, y'all. Let me fix the camera. Um, I think they're gonna do the stone soon. They painted this. Um, Else, my like roaches. And this all you girlfriend. <laughs> Uh, this is downstairs bathroom is a full size bathroom because my oldest son, this is his room, so that way he can just go ahead and go to the bed. He have his own bathroom. Let me shut this door. But you guys, I'm so excited! I'm so excited. It's Sunday, so update. My mom cabinet is here, but this is definitely not the one we ordered. We ordered um, drawers. So I have to tell them about that. They did start my mom black splash. And we have cabinets. They put the cabinets in, but I'm not showing you guys because I want to keep it all surprised. We love it. Yes. Yes. 
put the vanities in. This is Samaya's vanity. She went it gray. And this is her floor tub. They did the towel. Also, our, we have our relics. We have our relics. I'm super excited. <laughs> and then we have our light fixtures. All our light fi lights are in. And this is in my vanity. They put the vanity in. All the doors are painted. They just have to put these in. They started on the floor. So with the master bathroom, we just did the generic. Um, we just did the generic kind because we're gonna get the master bathroom done the way we really want to. I didn't like anything they had at the design studio, so we just went with the regular stuff. We did upgrade the vanity to just like the one level so we can have white. But of course, I'm changing out all those light fixtures. They're going to give us a mirror. I'm probably going to change that out too. Um, this is our ultra shower. So we have two heads, one head there, one head there. We were going to get the rain, but um, why we didn't get the rain? I think they said something about, oh, because it was going to go on an angle. And I'm like, that's going to probably look stupid. So we just did the ultra shower. And we did upgrade the towel just to go all the way up because they were going to make it like halfway. And I'm like, uh, no. But we just did all white in this bathroom. But um, eventually, this bathroom will be getting done over because I want actual, like, nice towel through the floors. I want to get all of this tiled. So that's going to be later on. But yeah, this is the master, not the master, the owner suite bathroom. This is our linen closet. And then in our bedroom, we will have hardwood floor throughout the whole um, the whole bedroom and upstairs. The kids, I did do carpet in their room just because my kids are rough and I don't want them to hurt themselves. But eventually later on, I will just do um, hardwood floor. So here they have a light fixture here. Of course, y'all already know I'm swiping that thing out. And then they sh what you didn't know you can connect to the oh yeah uh also this is the kids but here I come the kids bathroom I did their towel halfway and I'm probably later on where I might go all the way up I don't know it's kids and then this is their this is their cabinet so their cabinets and the floors is done they have white white floors white route bathtub is white and of course i'm going to switch out the fixture i did tell them to not add any mirrors in the bathroom except they said they have to add the mirror in our bathroom but i'm going to be like doing a certain i guess twist to the bathrooms and our kitchen cabinets are put in but i am not showing you guys the kitchen because i kind of want to leave stuff for the empty house tour i don't want to show everything so i won't be showing but this bathroom is done too we have a full bathroom down here and the exhaust fan and this is this one Penny. Okay. Hi, Penny Mama. Okay. Penny Mama, come on. And then uh, the chandelier I'm getting. I was going to get two chandeliers. But guys, I seen the chandelier I want on RH. And it's actually 72 inches long. So I might have to like move one of these down a little bit. Because the chandelier is like really long so and yeah that's really all the updates oh we have a doorbell let me show you guys the doorbell y'all ready for this <laughs> we have a doorbell now and yeah so 
I will keep you guys posted. This is basically all the updates. I didn't tell you guys, but they been did the brick outside. I don't know if you guys can see it. Um, it's like a whitish color. They they been did that. We're just waiting on our siding. They said that's on back order. But let me give you guys just a little good. We're about to go to the beach. So we just stopped past the house real quick. Because we're going to go to the beach. Trying try not to get the, the kitchen. Penny. And this is the way 